Hello everyone, as you know, I am Paul, your eHobby guy. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at this USB LED light. There are three surface mount LEDs on here with a resistor. We're going to take a look at it. I thought I'd make a short, quick video to analyze what we're looking at here. It is quite bright, so let's jump right in. I'm going to plug in first and just see what we have. You can see it's quite bright and it could be something that you just plug in as a night light. It's so small it could be used as a reading light and what was great about it is that both of these uh, I got two for 72 cents with free shipping. Of course it came from China. I'm just going to turn the lights off here. Let's see if we can get a better perspective. Yeah. It's difficult to tell from uh, you know the camera's angle, but it is quite bright. It's almost blinding, blinding to the eye. Let's take a closer look at the board itself. I'm just getting in close here to see if if uh, I can get on camera. I think this is the positive here. It's coming right up to this first LED, and I'm guessing that these are wired in series coming through here. And you can see this trace coming out of this LED into this resistor. And that resistor is marked 150, which means 15 ohms. We'll check that out in a second. But coming out of the resistor right here, you can see the other side of the resistor comes down to this trace here. So it's a very, very basic and simple circuit. But I'm going to put my... Uh, meter on the LEDs to see if they are in series or if they're in parallel because I can't see the traces in between the LEDs and so we'll take a look at that so here I am my my meter is on in its diode test mode so let me just check it in this direction nope so polarity is wrong there I should have known because I believe this end is the positive end so let me put positive here. Whoa, yes, the negative is tied in up here. Uh, but look, it looks like they're wired actually in parallel. I'm not sure. Yes, you can see them coming on in the camera. All three. So they're wired in parallel. You can see that no matter which one, I'm sure, yes. No matter which one I touch here, they all light with just the power from the leads as a diode check. Let me just sketch this circuit up really quickly. It's so basic. This is something you could build yourself. So this is literally how we have the plus coming in here. Going right up to the anode. And of course the resistor. The positive coming up to the anode of all three that are in parallel. And we're coming off here with a 15 ohm. That's how simple this circuit is. I just have to cut in here really quickly. The sketch that I made, this one, is incorrect. If you look at this, the 15 ohms right here is connected directly to the positive. This shouldn't be connected to the positive. It should be connected to the cathode, which is what I did here. The 15 ohms is connected to the cathode. The positive voltage is coming up. Current is passing through the LEDs and coming around to the negative through the 15 ohms. Completely ignore the sketch that you're going to see for the rest of the video behind. This is the correct sketch. Sorry about that. So I'm going to just touch off 5 volts from here to here. Make double check that this is in fact the positive. So I have 5 volts for my benchtop meter here. I'll touch the negative. Yes. So that's definitely, the positive is on my right hand side, negative on the left. We just have a 15 ohm surface mount resistor right here. Very simple circuit. We could build our own. What I am interested in is how much uh, current this actually draws. Because we have many USBs plugged into one USB that isn't powered. There is a limit to the amount of current that a USB 2.0 and 3.0 can put out. 3.0 is certainly a lot more than 2, but I'm going to do a quick check on how much current this draws with the three of these lit. Okay, I just have the negative directly clipped onto the negative side here. I uh, have my ammeter on here in the milliamp range, and so I'm just going to touch this. The current, of course, is going through the meter. There we go. We're looking at 105. 0.7, 0.8, 
106 milliamps. So we're looking at about 106 milliamps that we need to have available to light all three of these to their full brightness like this. I just had a quick look here. I definitely have some white LEDs. Me, probably not as bright as the ones that are on this. I had this perf board with the traces that are attached here like this. I measured the spacing and the spacing is the same. And so if I use the two outside terminals, I could actually make one of these uh, pretty readily. Now, I did get both of these, like I said, two of them for 72 cents in a nice clean package like this. This is a little thicker than this perf board, but uh, I'm going to give it a whirl and see if we can make one of these. These one, two, three, four are a little off center. And so I am going to just try and sand this down a little bit to make it more symmetrical about the middle, which is the space in between these two here. Let's get it cleaned up. And I can put the resistor and the three LEDs up here. That's a little better. I think we'll move forward with this. It's not perfectly centralized, but uh, it's going to be good enough to give it a try. We're getting closer. I'm just going to do myself a favor here and mark one of the two. The plus was on the right, so the negative is on the left. A lot of this is going to go in. So I'm going to jump from here to here and mount the component up here and we'll trim off the excess. Here it is with two jumper wires. I didn't bother going red and black. I had some yellow just laying right next to me, so we'll continue from here. Okay, my positive here is on the upper side. I have to get the three anodes in parallel to that. So let me enter these in here. I may have to stagger them a little to get them all in and God only knows where I'm going to get the resistor. I'll just somehow make it work from the other side. So I need to get the three anodes tied together, three cathodes tied together and get the anodes to the plus and the cathodes to the minus, but it's got to go to that 15 ohm resistor before it goes to the negative. I almost forgot, but I do have to scrape some traces here in between so that positive and the negatives are not sharded out. Yeah, this is getting ugly pretty fast. As you can see, I just bent all of the anodes right over to the positive here. The negatives have to be attached together and that resistor, I have to get that on here somehow. So that's going to be fun. Let's see what we can do. Yes, this is going to be some of the ugliest soldering and breadboard <laughs> perf boarding that you've ever seen but I'm just gonna see if we can get some light out of this okay now is the moment of truth let's see if we can get five volts hooked up hey let's get a good connection Woohoo! I just replicated a very simple circuit on a tiny piece of perf board let's just see if I can plug it into this wall adapter Yes, we have light. This is a little loose here. This is 066, 065, 0.065 inches. This one, 077. So I need to beef the thickness of this up a little bit. I think I will just uh, build up some solder on the positive and the negative here, and that might give me enough for some stability. This is looking a little better. Let's take a look at the, the thickness. We're looking for 077. Ooh, that might be a bit too much. Let's see how it fits in. It's actually a nice snug fit. I thought it would be too big. Yeah, that's a perfect fit. Give it another try. Yeah, that's perfect. So maybe you can try this out at home. Now, last thing, let's, uh, maybe we should protect uh, these wires back here. I have some liquid tape. Let me just uh, use a little liquid tape. And I can just coat the back of this. See if I can insulate it, stop uh, just from accidental bending and whatnot. Yes, this is a pretty heavy coating. I'm going to let this dry. We'll plug it in one more time. And with that said, we do have a usable, functional USB LED light. Thank you for taking the time to watch me have this fun. I really do appreciate your time. If you're interested, 
click the circle with my picture in it to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media. I'll see you next time.